I did an episode not too long ago of an Asus laptop that I actually recently purchased. And I actually mentioned in the video that I upgraded to an M.2 SATA drive. And what I mean by upgraded is I just literally bought a M.2 SATA drive off of Amazon and I installed it myself. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to take this laptop apart and expand storage and RAM. Okay guys, so right now I'm going to show you exactly what I did to install the M.2 SATA drive that I talked about in my review of this laptop. So the first thing that you're gonna need is some kind of electronics toolkit. Now this is the iFixit, which is actually a very, very popular toolkit, electronic toolkit out there. And I really, really highly recommend it. Now this is the kind of like, um, the basic one i believe i got this at micro center on sale for 20 bucks and uh, i love it so far so you're definitely going to need a kit like this i will definitely put this kit in the link down below if you guys ooh, sorry i just had to adjust that a little bit if you guys are interested in uh, picking one of these up i really really highly highly suggest that you do if you're going to be working on your electronics like this so let's jump into it Okay, so it's really, really simple. There's a bunch of screws around here. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's six, seven, eight, nine. There's 10 screws total. So let's go ahead and open them. I'm definitely gonna speed this up because this is gonna take a while. So yeah, um, listen to the music. Okay guys, so I do have all the screws out. I just wanted to stop and let you guys know that there are three different types of screws in this, in the bottom. Uh, there's like two, there's, a, there's one uh, longer one, which is here. There's a bunch of, uh, I don't know how long these are, I'm gonna say, and there's in between this one and this one right here. This is the tiniest one right here. And then you have a bunch of these medium sized ones and then you have one larger one. Just make sure you know where they came from and you put them back in the same spot. All right, now let's open it up. So guys, I almost forgot. There are hidden screws in here. I don't know how I forgot about these, but I did. But you have to take off these, these little pads right here, the pads that help it to you know, the stay on the surface. Uh, you have to peel the two off in the back and there's screws underneath of there. I almost forgot. I'm sitting here trying to yank it off and I'm wondering why isn't it coming off? <laughs> so you just, I kind of just stuck this underneath of here. They have some kind of adhesive on them that you have to get off. And, ah, there we go. So there we go. I'm moving it all around and I got these two pads off. They're really, they're really sticky. And I'm just gonna take these two screws out really fast. Here, that one. And this one right here. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so just remember that these two screws are, uh, they're, they're more of a black than these are more of a chrome. Just remember where those two screws go. Um, that way you put them back in the same spot like I was saying before. So. Let's crack her open, guys. And boom, there she is. Okay, so right now I'm gonna show you guys the where the location of the M.2 and um, some other little things, if you wanted to know how you can upgrade it. So if you guys can see this right here, which you, you can't really see it that well, this is the M.2 SATA drive right here. There's actually this black piece right here, which I actually slipped the M.2 inside of and then I held it down with this screw right here. Let's give it a little closer look. I just gotta adjust the, the uh, camera, <clears throat> the focus of the camera. And as you see, it says A data. I'll get a little closer. And it says A data right there. And uh, that's the M.2 basically. So I put that in, literally took two seconds. The M.2 slides right into it and um, that's it. I copy windows over to it. Now, the other cool thing about this is up here. Now, this is my eight gigabytes of DDR4, 2400 RAM. There's another open side right there for me to install 
another eight gigs or 16 gigs of the DDR4 RAM. So, you know, if you guys want to make your computer a little more snappy in between programs, you know, put some more RAM into it. If you don't know what RAM is, I will put a link to one of my other videos that I did called Computer Essentials, where I basically go over the basics of computer parts. I just really, really want to show you how easy it is to take this apart, put this right here, this M.2 SATA drive right in here, and it makes your computer super, super fast, night and day difference. So I'm gonna put this all back together and we're going to cut back. So yes, it was that easy. You literally just take out some screws, take off the back panel, and then you're able to slip in an M.2 SSD, or if you want to upgrade the RAM, just slip in one RAM stick. I just wanted to show you guys that. I wanted to show you how easy it was. In my computer essentials video, I actually kind of go over RAM and different types of storage, like your SSD drive, your two and a half inch, your M.2 SSD, and I also go over basic mechanical hard drives. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to install yourself and how much money you guys can save. In my last video, I mentioned that this laptop was around $500 on Amazon, and I was able to actually buy this M.2 SATA drive for, it was around $50, and I upgraded it myself. I also said that if you were to find a similar laptop with these specs, with everything already pre-installed, it would probably cost you at least $600, $650, maybe $700. And I just wanted to show you that if you do the work yourself, it's very, very easy and it won't break the bank. I just wanted to show you guys how easy it was and once again, try to save you guys some money. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit a like. If you love it, consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that way you get notified when I update more videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. And once again, save some money, guys. It's holiday season. Peace out.